Welcome to Seeger of My House. Hey you guys, here we're house bringing you welcome to another episode of Pickups. A lot of stuff to show in this episode though. It has been a little bit since I have like gone over it and really figured out where I got stuff from, so I mean it's a little bit out of order, which is unfortunate, but just as I can remember where I got stuff from and you know, which I I remember most of it, so it'll be not too bad. I have to remember dates and stuff because this is over like a two week period and I know some people get annoyed when I don't say like when I got stuff so it's like I like there to be a little bit of a flow and a bit of a different background and try this out last few videos and last time it seemed pretty good so hopefully it's good this time too it's well, I like this background it's like a lot of nature and stuff it's nice alright so just a word of warning uh, most of the stuff is PlayStation 3 stuff, it's just, I'm striking games off that list that I made, and, yeah, I've filled like an entire shelf now, so it's like, I may have to get a new one, I may have to get another shelf, god forbid. So, this first lot of stuff, this was a few weeks back, I think just before, I think I got this up just before New Year's, it was like Thursday or something. But, this is just a random one, I went down to an EB game store that had this, I've been looking up games on my list on the EB games website to figure out what stores have what low, or what stores have what stuff, and thankfully a lot of stores in the area have the games that I'm looking for, but some of them either are completely out of stock or they're in like another state, and I, I'm not willing to go to another state to get a PlayStation 3 game, it's, let's just leave it at that, I'd rather grab it on eBay at that point. But it's good to go to EB Games because I've been stocking up a lot of credit with them. I traded in all my Xbox 360 stuff and my Star Wars Xbox 360 that's gone. Um, I'm moving out soon so I just can't take that with me unfortunately but that's okay. I'm focusing more on the PlayStation 3 which is, in my opinion, a better system. It just has more games that interest me. So, this one was 8 bucks. It says 20 on there but... It was like $18 on the EB Games website, and then half off of that, so it's like, it was $9. Godzilla on PlayStation 3. I remember this coming out, this was a very late release for the PlayStation 3. This came out in 2015. This apparently is a bad game, but for 9 bucks, I'm willing to sit down and give it a go. I don't think it's based on the movie that came out the year before, but it might be. I just remember seeing gameplay of it, and I was like, this looks like the PlayStation 2 games. It looks fine to me, so I mean, yeah, it looks fine, and for nine bucks, I mean, I'm not going to pass it up. All this stuff is paid on credit. Yeah, like I've been trading in a lot of stuff, finding a lot of stuff to trade in, you know, I'm finding my cards everywhere, and they're always $25 to trade in. Another one here, this was from Malkovat, and the rest of the stuff will be from Malkovat as well. It is Eternal Sonata. This was originally on the Xbox 360, but then it came to the PlayStation 3. I'm not sure what kind of game it is really, other than that it's an RPG that has exclusive content for PS3, so the PS3 one is the one you want to get. All complete. Now that was 15 bucks, paid on credit. I'm striking off all of these like weird RPGs, and there's a lot of RPGs in this video, so it's nice. You know, once I've gotten all of them, I don't have to worry about them anymore. So we have here... R. Tonelico Kroger, Nell of ACL. I'm fully convinced that most of these games are named just to fuck with English speakers, because there's no way that makes sense in English. Maybe it does in Japanese, I don't know. Yeah, it looks interesting. Tons of bonus soundtrack, which is cool. Yeah, it was nice to get. And one that wasn't even on my list, I mean, I just didn't see it. But I grabbed it anyway, it was 9 bucks, you know, $18 half off. Uh, Cross Edge, this is one of those ones by NIS America. Uh, sorry, by Compile Hearts, the guys who make um, Disgaea. And it's just like a compilation game. You, know, you have characters from Disgaea and... Um, Darkstalkers and stuff like that. Yeah, Disgaea, Artonelico, and Darkstalkers. So yeah, it has characters from all of those. I'm sure it's fine. 
Alright. After that, I went to Computer Exchange, CEX. Some people say it like it's spelled, I just spell it out. And I got some more PlayStation 3 stuff. Had a bunch of credit in there as well. Traded in some more stuff, got some more credit. I mean, I'm rolling in credit right now, so it's like, now that I know what I'm looking for, it's time to start spending all this credit that I've built up over time. So I grab Yakuza 4, this cool, like, Steelbook Edition. It comes with four pieces of bonus content. Nice. The Yakuza games are ones that I really need to get into. I have 1 through 4 and Yakuza Dead Souls, so I mean... It's time for me to start playing these at some point. I was playing Zone of the Enders second runner, I was thinking that was the next game I was going to play and finished. I uh, just, I wasn't digging it man. It seemed okay, uh, the combat was really hard, so I just kind of gave up after one of the boss battles. I was fighting a guy named Vic Viper, and at that point I was like, man, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I give up. Also glad these two we have... Tales of Zillia 2 Day 1 Edition that comes in a cool steelbook. These steelbooks, they're not worth anything extra. I doubt they'll ever be worth anything extra, but they're just kind of cool. It's nicer than, like, standard box art, I guess. And if you can get this or normal box art, I'd rather get this. Day 1 Edition comes with... some stuff. Comes with a bunch of notes. That's awesome. Apparently it's supposed to come with three game discs? Yeah, no? Yeah, there we go. Got the bonus soundtrack on the other side with the manual. I was confused there for a second. It's good that I have that. Otherwise it wouldn't be complete. And the first Tales of Zillia. Never super got into these Tales of games. I still have two or three more to get for the PlayStation 3, but I'm... Working my way through them. I'll get all of them eventually. Oh, that's a random one. G.I. Joe Rise of the Cobra. Looks interesting. Tight White has this game. He says it's good, so I mean, yeah, I'm sure it'll be fun. Something that's really cool, and I couldn't really find any information about this. And it was super cheap, too. A Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. This is a collector's edition, technically. It ha even has, like, a number for what. Um, one it is, but it's like, from what I can tell, apart from this slip case, there's nothing extra. This doesn't say to be sold separately, there's nothing interesting or extra about the game in here. It's just a regular copy of the game and this slip cover. I guess back in 2003 you had to, uh, didn't get elaborate collector's editions. I guess that's okay. It probably didn't cost anything extra at the time. It's probably a pre-order bonus. And one that I kind of regret buying. It ate 55 bucks of my credit through. Like the store credit that I had from trading stuff in. So, grab this one. Warrior World. Kind of interested in getting my GameCube collection. Kind of bulked up a bit. Kind of not interested as well. It's one that if I sold tomorrow, I'm not sure if I would miss it. Um, going to wait until I move out before I really decide what I want to do with that stuff. Same with the Wii games. It's like... I have all this stuff. I am working my way through, figuring out what I want to keep, what I don't want to keep. I am keeping all of my Sony stuff. Absolutely, because it's like... I grew up on the PlayStation, and that's the stuff I want to keep. That's the stuff I remember, so it's like... I want to keep that stuff, but stuff like GameCube, Xbox, stuff like that... Yeah, I had an Xbox as a kid at my dad's place, but it's like... I don't know, I didn't have many games for it, I don't remember it that well. It's not that important. I should have showed this first. This was an online purchase, it was like 10 bucks for a ship. Casper on PlayStation 1. Still always collecting PlayStation 1 games when I see them on the cheap. Especially online. If I have money in the PayPal, I'll seek out some cheap games. I also get like coupons from eBay when I sell something. Like, I'll buy an old game. It'll say, sell an old game on and get a coupon after I bought one, and then I'll get a $10 coupon. It's like, oh cool. And I have a game coming that was like 20 bucks, but I only paid $10 out of pocket for because of that coupon. And it's good. This is complete. Missing something on the case, but I don't care. Come 
on. Manual got caught. These PlayStation 1 games were not made well. I like the PlayStation 2 cases better. Yeah, it looks like an interesting action adventure game. It's based on the movie, so it's probably not very good. I'll sit down and try it someday. Alright. The rest of the stuff was all gotten last week, which was the start of 2018 up until this point. It's like 9th, I think. So, a lot of computer exchange stuff, a lot of EB game stuff, and a little bit of other stuff as well. And for the most part, it was all paid through store credit. So first up, we have Arno Surge, Ode to an Unborn Star. I now have both of the R games, or the AR games, I don't know how you really say them. On the PlayStation 3, these, they, they just look like RPGs to me. A lot of RPGs really look similar to me, especially on the back, it's like, let me grab it. Man, you look at the back and you tell me which one is which. It's the kind of thing where it's like, if you play them, you probably know which one is which, and you're probably yelling at your screen right now that I'm some kind of pleb, which I am. But I mean, until I play these, these will all look the same to me. Complete, good shape. And these will buy one, go on free, so it's going to be good to get some, um, more of the expensive titles. I won't have to pay quite so much on store credit for them, it's good. And with that, I bought one to sell. We have Fighting Edition. And I have all three of these games separately anyway, so... Well, I do now, thanks to this video. I <laughs> have all three of these games separately now, so it's good to get this set and I'll be able to sell this on. Recoup a little bit. Or make some money, I guess. Alright, this is where it's going to become a bit annoying. I got all of this stuff two days ago. Oh man, I have my most recent ones on here. I don't think I do. Hmm. I'll add to the end of this video the next two that I got. That's okay. Okay, so on Monday I went to Computer Exchange again and, you know, had some more built up credit, so I just thought I'd blow through it a little bit. I grabbed Armored Core 5. Armored Core games are really fun. These are like mech games. They're really good. Spider-Man Shadow Dimensions, there are three Spider-Man games I need on the PlayStation 3, and I only need two. It's Web of Shadows and... Uh, I'd know it if I saw it. This one looks interesting, I remember this coming out. It plays four different kinds of Spider-Man, it's really cool looking. This guy 3, I had this on the Vita. I have number 4, so I had to get number 3. Uh, Deadpool. My friend really likes this game, uh, one of my roommates, he really enjoys this game, really likes the movie, so yeah, you can probably play this game as well after I'm done with it. looks really fun. I know Deadpool is supposed to be like a wacky anti-hero, he just looks kind of cool. Uh, Atelier Charlie, Alchemists of the Dusk Sea. Looks interesting. That's one of the Atelier games, I have a couple of those. Yeah, I have a couple of those games in this video. I still need two, but I have most of them. You know, after I get all these RPGs, I won't need to worry about buying them anymore, so it's good to get them now. Especially if I can get them on store credit. So yeah, looks interesting. Looks just like every other RPG. I'm sure it's fine. And Soul Calibur 5, which I would have bought for cash for five bucks. I mean, that's a good deal. I'm not looking for a lot of fighting games, like I don't have Ultra Street Fighter 4 on the list even though I don't have that game. It's the kind of deal where if I see it and it's cheap I'll buy it, otherwise I'm not searching it out. The list is only for games that I am searching out. There are of course other games that I want, but I don't... They're not needed for my collection, but if I see them on the cheap I'll grab them. Like that one. Ooh, this is also grabbed from Computer Exchange. This one was just a good deal. Dragon Age Origins, the Ultimate Edition, for four bucks. They priced this as a regular edition instead of the Ultimate Edition, and the Ultimate Edition is way more expensive, so yeah, I got a great deal on this. 
it's a good game. I really like Dragon Age Origins. I played this originally on the Xbox 360 in like 2012 or something. Just a really good fantasy RPG. All the battle is in like real time and you control like a uh, small squad of people. It's good. It's a really good game. Definitely give it a try if you haven't. And two games from EB Games. We have Atelier Totori, The Adventure of Ireland. I left this last time I was in the area of Malkovat because I thought I already had it. So I went back and grabbed it. Thankfully it was still there. And yeah, it looks like the other Atelier game I grabbed. Sorry that I'm not talking a massive amount about these, I just, I haven't played them yet. And Soul Calibur 4, I grabbed Soul Calibur 5, so why not Soul Calibur 4? This is the one with Darth Vader in it, if you see the... Very interesting, um... I like that, I like, uh, fighting games that have, like, crossover characters, I think it's just something interesting. And this has, yeah, it has, like, the guy from The Force Awakens as well. Let's see if I can focus on that. Probably not, that's okay. Yeah, it looks fun. Maybe if I cover the whole screen with it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it just looks good. Okay, and that was that. On Sunday, I went to my local markets. I've been trying to avoid going there lately, just because, you know, prices and stuff, but I wanted to get rid of my Nintendo DS and my 3DS. Oh, my Nintendo DS games, and my 3DS, and my 3DS games, so... I knew the guy down there, Eddie, he would give me a good deal on them, and I could get some games that I wanted from him, so... That's exactly what I did. I grabbed... or well, I gave him that stuff, and he gave me these games, plus 30 bucks cash. So I grabbed, for the PlayStation 1, we have... Pipe Mania, not worth anything. None of these are worth a super amount, but they're just harder to find games, so I did want to get them. Yeah, Pipe Mania 3D. Pipe Mania is a lot of fun. Try that out on the original NES, man. It's really good. For the PlayStation 2, Maniac Mole. This one just looks really silly. It's a 2D platformer. I really need to sit down and play this, probably today. Because this just looks really silly and fun. Bloody, uh, you know the deal, cicadas. Nothing I can do about them. That's so why I've been putting background music in, so try and, uh, try and nullify the noise a little bit. And I've been getting complaints about how the music's a bit too loud. I'd rather hear the music than the cicadas myself. A uh, Deadly Strike on the PlayStation 2. I've never heard of this one before I saw it. it. Looks interesting, just like a standard kind of hack and slash game, but I mean. Sometimes those are really fun. That just looks looks good. Give that a go as well, probably today. And a weird game, uh, Paparazzi. This looks like a perverted kind of game, I guess. You just take pictures of people. I'll probably never play that, but it looked interesting, so I thought I'd grab it. It's one for the collection. And all of these were complete as well. Good shape. It's a good thing about Eddie, you're not going to get like scratched games from him. And one for the PlayStation 3 collection, Fairy Fencer F. Oh, this looks just like all the other RPGs, to me at least. Complete. But I'll never play these RPGs, they're just for the collection. Alright, the rest of this stuff, also got this in the market, and this is mostly just stuff to recoup. Uh, three bucks for Grand Theft Auto 5. I'll get not a super amount of money for this, but I mean, I can get like 10, 15 for this, hopefully. Or I can trade it in and get my uh, store credit back up. Because it's not super low at the moment, but it is getting lower. Uh, five bucks on this, marked down from 10. Red Dead Redemption, Game of the Year Edition. I recently had a copy of this, I bought for five bucks and sold for 15. Hoping I can do the same. There'll be a bit more money in the uh, PayPal to go towards games. This is one to keep. Who wants to be a millionaire second edition? I kind of like these uh, trivia games. I just think they're kind of fun. And... <laughs> yeah, you can apparently receive 
phone calls on your Wii. That sounds interesting. He probably just speaks through the mic or something. Probably. Yeah, a couple bucks for that. Would have been like two bucks. And Microsoft Office Home and Student 2010. Brand new and sealed. This was two dollars. I always tell you guys, if you see these software packs brand new and sealed, pick them up. This will be an easy fifty dollars uh, in my PayPal as soon as I list it. I list this for fifty bucks. It will sell within the week. But yeah, I mean you can get these at a market or something. Someone doesn't really care about them. Two bucks. Yeah, two bucks for that. It's going to help. Go towards the game fund. Alright, the last lot of stuff here... Ooh, I also got this. Vice City for a dollar. I'll never leave a copy of Vice City behind for a dollar, even if it's a bit scratched up. Fantastic game. My favourite song ever is in that game, Africa by Toto. And the last lot of stuff here, just like some DVDs, there is one game. I bought this all on last Saturday. I wanted to go out to some op shops before work, so I did. Didn't find a whole lot of video games, which is just how it is sometimes, but I did find at an op shop Rikuno Matata on the PlayStation 3. This is Region 3, which I think is China. I think so. Printed in Hong Kong. Yeah, this is a Chinese version. But it's Chinese English. Basically, any game released in China was also released in English on the disc, so it's like. Yeah, I put this in, it plays in English, so. I already have this game, I'm just going to sell it on. It was a dollar. And so was this, Frozen. On Blu-ray, I'll trade this into CEX, they give five dollars trading for it. Yeah, get my credit back up a bit. And some movies to watch, these were all like a dollar each, so I thought why not. Now we have this collection here that has a bunch of martial arts movies on it, including Way of the Dragon, Young Master, Knockabout, and Dragon Fist. Great movies. One thing I really have an appreciation for is uh, Kung Fu movies. I just think they're a lot of fun to watch. They're the perfect kind of popcorn movie. Also have this one here, which has Fists of Fury, classic. Once Upon a Time in China, New Fist of Fury, and Magnificent Butcher, which also looks interesting. A few Disney ones that I watched. Prince and the Pauper, it was okay. And Window Willows, which I have not watched yet, but I'm sure it's okay. Most of these Disney animated movies are at least good. A horror movie, <coughs> Insidious Chapter 3, this looks interesting. I'm sure it's just like the other Insidious movies. I saw the first two and they're just like exactly the same. They're the same kind of movie, so it's like, they're easy. They're easy to watch, which is nice. Another Disney one, Melody Time. I do enjoy these older kind of uh, Disney ones. There's like there's something very nostalgic about them. And finally, the ruins, which I have read the book that this is based on. This is a massively effed up movie. Um, I won't spoil anything, but if you haven't seen it, definitely give it a watch. It's good. All right, try to get this done quickly, under 30 minutes, which is good. And after this, I'll probably film some um, like what I've completed recently stuff because I've completed two games. I beat Asura's Wrath and I beat, um, what was it called? No More Heroes, Heroes Paradise on the PS3, so I do need to make videos for those two. I may have already talked about Asura's Wrath, I'm not sure. I don't think I have. But yeah, that's everything i got for the last two weeks. Probably not going to do a whole lot of pickups over the next week just because I want to save up a little bit of money for Bookfest. Though I didn't really spend any money this week, I probably spent like 20 bucks on all of this and then the rest was store credit, so I mean, it's not too bad. It's nice to blow through it every now and again, as 2D UK likes to say. Uh, you buy games and you sell them to help fund the collection, that's how you do it, so yeah. That's how you do it. And I've got nothing else to talk about, so stick in my house, bidding you guys farewell, have a good one. Okay, so as I was talking, I actually received a parcel in the mail just given to me. And I'll show you the two that I picked up yesterday. Buy one, get one free at the local EB Games. We have Disgaea D2, which was the only Disgaea game I needed. This is apparently a sequel to the original Disgaea. 
But Disgaea 2 is also a sequel to the original Disgaea. I don't know what's going on with that one. For nine bucks, whatever. And Deadly Premonition, the director's cut. I actually do already have this. This will be one to resell. I'll probably get like 30 bucks for this. I mean, this is a pretty sought after game for the PlayStation 3. It's one of those ones that a lot of people are wanting, and it's a weird, a weird game. And another one that I wanted Monster Madness Grave Digger. This was sent by. Um. I'm not sure, but it came in like a nice protective case, which is cool, and it's apparently a really fun beat-em-up, so I mean, definitely looking to get all those on the PlayStation 3. There's a few others I need to get. This is one that I definitely wanted, so yeah. That's all for now. See you my house, being you felt well. I need to peel all of these stickers off. And that's all, folks.